A cavalcade of former champions set the scene for the history-making debut of the Fort Power in Adelaide. Fort fans couldn't wait for this day to come. It might be the Power's second AFL match, but it's their first on home turf. It's as exciting as when they sent the first man to the moon. You see the new kid on the block. At Alberton, Port legend Foss Williams was called in to perform a special ceremony along with his son Stephen, the Port Adelaide Magpies coach, and grandson Marcus. They are the future, the future of Port Adelaide. That's it. Four pieces of turf were dug from Alberton Oval, bound for Footy Park via the Seven Nightly News helicopter. This ground has been regarded as our own and we've always experienced a, a great success here. And I think that uh, taking the, the turf to, to uh, Football Park means that we hope we can transfer that sort of success over to the uh, AFL. It was a proud moment for Foss Williams and his family standing near the centre square on Port's new home ground. And the celebrations continued with fireworks and a cavalcade of former club stars. Primus number two down to Brown. Plenty of space there for David Brown. Port's first AFL home game attracted 32,747 to Football Park. And the power opened at breakneck speed. While Essendon stood up to a barrage, Port could only kick three goals from 11 scoring shots. In the next two quarters, Essendon fought their way back into the game and restricted the power to two goals in two quarters. From the time James Hurd put his side in front during the second term, Essendon took complete control. Later, Essendon coach Kevin Sheedy would pay Port the compliment of saying how much they resembled the young Bombers of 93, who won the flag that year. Boy, took him on. Just gets it away. Brown spins out of trouble. Left footer by Brown to the goal square. Pull! Had more hand passes than kicks. And surely will get his first goal. And Poole to do the ruck work up against Berbikov. Here's a chance for Brewer. Lines up the goals and kicks a beauty! Despite four final term goals, Port down by 33 points and second last on the ladder above St Kilda. How times would change. Love the look of him. Just will get better. He's kicked with Lyle and Lyle will kick the goal. Uh, certainly a, a different feeling for me playing against the old team and and um, it was certainly hard to play against them because it was uh, something I certainly wasn't used to and um, it was good to get that game over and done with. Uh, disappointing that we lost but uh, yeah, good to get over and done with. Eight single goal kickers for the power with Brown, Lyle and Brewer the standouts.